minus one minute. The ground loss sequencer will verify that the three main engines are ready to start. The booster joint heaters are being uh, deactivated at this time. We're transferring to orbiter internal power. Discovery is now running off of its three onboard fuel cells. T minus 38 seconds and counting. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start. T minus 25 seconds. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of the vehicle's critical function. 20 seconds. T minus 15 seconds and the sound suppression water system has been activated. We have a go for maintenance start. Three engines up and ready. Three, two, one. Zero. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. Blazing a trail to scientific discoveries aboard space oh station. Gosh, so cool. Houston Discovery, roll program. Five to roll, Discovery. This is Houston from Charles Houston. Space shuttle Discovery is rolling into a head down position, putting it on course for 51.6 degrees, 100 degrees, and 36 on orbit. And eventually the International Space Station. seeing the first of many sunrises of the SBS-131 mission. Discovery Houston, you are negative return. Discovery copy, negative return. Discovery is now flying too high and too fast to return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine fail failure. It's not currently a problem, however, as all engines are continuing to perform as expected. 
four minutes and 15 seconds into Discovery Spot. Settles traveling 6,000 miles per hour, and now speed is 63 miles, and uh, is 181 miles away from Kennedy Space Center. Environmental Systems Officer here in Mission Control confirmed that the flash evaporator system has been activated to provide cooling to the shuttle system until the shuttle cargo bay doors open and uh, double as radiators. Discovery, press to ATO. Discovery, copy, press to ATO. Should soon settle free my engine spell after this point. I can still read.